virtual hello everybody this is rose and today i'll be sharing with you my uh, u.s citizenship journey so today i will be sharing with you how i passed and how i process my u.s citizenship you can apply a u.s citizenship if you've been a lawful permanent resident for at least five years and if you are married to a u.s citizen for at least three years so first, um, how I process my U.S. citizenship. So first, I went to their website. It's www.uscis.gov. And then you, uh, from here, we go to the citizenship. And then you're going to find all of the resources. You click the apply for citizenship. And when you open that, there, there's an information here. It states that... USCIS updated the uh, version of the civic uh, test. So if you applied for US citizenship before December 1st, 2020, um, you'll study the 2008 version civic test. And you can find the materials here. Study test 2008 version here. Yep okay and if you apply so if you apply on december 1st uh, 2020 you'll have to study the 2020 version civics test okay so um now we're gonna go to the n400 this is your form that you have to fill out so this is application for naturalization form N-400. So there are 20 pages. There are 20 pages. Okay. So you'll start here. Part one is information about your eligibility. So select only one box for your form N-400. Maybe delayed and here is your alien um, information there is a uh, instruction for form in 400 so if you're if you're not sure how to sign all those uh, questions in here they have this um, instruction on how to to um, fill out your in 400 okay and third they have document checklist so after you um fill out the form n400 i did download this or print out so it's easier for me to gather all the necessary documents or necessary um papers that i have to provide so I did print that out and then the they have the information here how much the fee for filing your naturalization application at the bottom so what are the requirements or what are the documents that I sent I print out document checklist as well so uh, it's easier for me to gather all the information that I needed to provide so the documents that uh, I sent the inside of the front cover and signature page of my husband's current U.S. passport, um, his birth certificate, and um, I sent marriage our marriage contract or marriage certificate, and I did send tax returns, bank bank accounts, or leases, mortgages, or birth certificates of the children if you have a uh, children but we don't have a children so what i sent tax returns um bank accounts that uh, has both names uh of me and him so tax returns bank accounts uh, or like um joint accounts with your spouse and your um uh, internal revenue or irs um irs tax return transcript for for the last three years um my um copy of my philippine passport so if you are married before if you're divorced you have to send all those um 
documents uh, proof that all the uh, earlier marriages ended or divorce decree annulment or death certificate other documents I just sent just to uh, be safe so I did send my uh, pay stubs my driver's license copy my permanent resident card copy back in front and back during my interview they just asked me six questions and I answered all those questions and uh, some of the questions um, are taken from the form N-400 so just study your form N-400 and then that's it so it's not even five minutes and she told me that I have to appear for my ceremony uh, but they don't give me an exact date they told me that uh, I should expect a mail from them um, that uh, will give me a date when and what time so good luck to all the the applicants who are in the process of uh, applying your US citizenship right now so during my interview um, I brought everything all my documents just to be safe just to be safe I bring everything if in case they will ask me to provide another document so I know that you don't have to bring all of those they will just ask you to bring your um, permanent resident card or your um, interview uh, date that they gave you thank you for watching and so if you have a question you can just comment below and I'll be glad to answer your question